GG. Hi everyone, this is Chris from the Gallus Geeks, and today I'm going to do a very quick review of a game that I've been spending probably a little more time than I should playing on my tablet. So, if you're familiar with uh, QI, uh, quite interesting, Game of General Ignorance, um, it's a show on the BBC if you're from outside the UK. Um, it's a quick show about interesting and fascinating and not particularly obvious things. And they've got a game on Android and on iOS um, called Quictionary. It's a kind of mastermind style uh, word calculation game, I suppose. But I'm not really doing it justice here, so let's crack on and I'll actually show you it. So, it's divided into a number of word packs. It is technically free to play. But uh, you can purchase additional word packs. It comes with uh, easy, not so easy, quite hard, and no such thing as a fish. We'll go into the word packs later on. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to just guide you through a typical game of Quictionary and kind of give you my thoughts on it. And since we're being topical right now, I'm going to choose the word pack that I'm working on right now, The Donald. As you can see, it's a mastermind style letter guessing game and it's all about logic and it's quite good fun if you enjoy word puzzles. So I'm just going to submit my initial guess here and it highlights immediately that none of the letters in here are part of the word. So I go to my fallback and it tells you that one of the letters in this word is correct. So, I'm just going to continue guessing until I figure it out. As you can see, I've exchanged E or T for E, and it indicates now that there are two correct letters in there. And by logical deduction, Holmes, I can tell you that E is one of the correct letters. So I press on and hold on the E and indicate that it's correct. I can do the same with T, but indicate that it's not correct. You'll notice that the ones that I'm indicating remain white in the centre, but the ones that the game has told me are incorrect are blocked out red. This allows you to actually go back and make corrections, uh, because there's nothing more heartbreaking than getting through an entire sequence and discovering that you've miscalculated one. All right. I'm going to speed through this. So, it is a good fun game. Uh, probably a bit slow paced for some people, I suggest. But uh, if you enjoy stretching your own neurons, and if you've got some spare time, it's pretty enjoyable. So, figure that out. No, wait, that's an utterly wrong. And there's a good reason why you have to go back and go to corrections. And we can determine that D is also incorrect. And if we scroll back up, we can figure out that I is incorrect, M is incorrect, and we're left with any. There's a counter up here, every word is given a par, so naturally you have to try and uh, guess the word in as uh, few moves as possible. It is entirely possible to stumble across a word in your first go, but given that there's oh, how many hundreds of thousands of combinations of four letter words, including the ones that uh, you don't mention in public, unless you're me. So, uh, any, let's try another four letter word. Um, uh, wash. And. So, if you're anything like me, you'll quickly develop systems for detecting and calculating your other words. And the four letter words are kind of the basic ones. Um, there are additional packs, word packs, 
that give you um, five letter words, they tend to be classed as hard. And you can see there it's shown that all of those are incorrect and it's done that all the way back up as well, which is quite good. Okay, that's correct. That's not. That's not. And so we're cut down to N A E and one of the remaining words or one of the remaining letters. Let's try near. And that tells you that you've got all the letters correct, but it's an anagram. Let's just sell the anagram to win. So near uh, what's an anagram of near? Ern. No, I suspect I'm going to get this one. Ding! Tells me I'm correct. And it gives you a little factoid as well, which is uh, probably the, the most attractive thing about the game. Ultimately, the par doesn't matter, uh, which kind of takes a bit of the challenge out of the game. Um, so there's no real motivation for you to get under par other than your own intellectual you know, bragging rights. But it does give you uh, these little factoids. So as president, Donald Trump will earn one twelve thousandth as much as he did as a baby, which is somewhat depressing. Um, and every, every time you get a word correct, it gives you one of these factoids, which is quite cool. And it does the social thing where you can share the fact. Um, if you're truly astounded by it, you know, share the knowledge. And we'll get rid of that. And it gives you the option to play again, but I'm just going to show you the other parts. And you can see here the other items that I've unlocked. And you can check the other facts. For Nosh, Donald Trump's 2016 Thanksgiving dinner contained two meals named after him. Mr. Trump wedge salad and three layer Trump chocolate cake. Fascinating. Now, I did mention that um, the game is free to play. Uh, and in that free to play, you get uh, the easy word pack, the not so easy, and those are um, four letter words. And then you've got the quite hard and no such thing as a fish. No such thing as a fish is uh, the QI question setters podcast. It is really funny, very interesting. They're fascinating people. Uh, these are five letter word packs. Uh, now, you can play these as many times as you like. Um, if you see here, I've done them already. It's listed them as done. Uh, if I go on to do that, it'll ask me to reset um, the word pack, which I'm not going to bother doing right now. I've actually gone and bought um, three word packs, uh, the News Antidote, and this is a monthly word pack that they issue out. Uh, that's another five uh, five letter word um, word pack that cost me about 50 pence I think and then these two so general ignorance which is a kind of medley of different facts uh, from uh, QI that cost me about a pound 50 um, there was a lot more content in this one than there was in the news antidote um, so in general I'm quite happy with the price I paid for that uh, as with the Donald um, I paid one pound 50 for that um, for the amount of puzzles it's given me, uh, I'm pretty happy with that price. But as you'll see, there are many more QI word packs to uh, spend money on. And basically, I'm choosing to uh, to play them one at a time and pay for them. But if uh, you don't fancy doing that, there is the uh, ability to subscribe. Um, so you can buy all access. Uh, so your one month all access get, uh, for 99 pence um, gives you all those word packs um, and any updated ones. Uh, you can um, play five letter in multiplayer, uh, which I'm not going to cover here. I've not been able to successfully play multiplayer. Uh, and uh, I, in frank, frankly, I'm not really all that excited about playing word guessing games um, with uh, strangers. Um, there's also three months and 12 months options. Um, in my mind, I did some sort of maths and decided that it was better to pay for each pack and keep um, essentially permanent access to it. So, you know, cloud access or uh, perpetual licensing, it's up to you. And it's quite good that they give you both options. Although, obviously, perpetual licensing will probably cost you more initially. If you continue to pay the all access, it'll cost you more depending on the number of years you play it. Entirely up to you. 
So it kind of shows you how to play the game there. Some very limited options. It's not a particularly complex um, app. Um, it's a very simple game, but it's quite engrossing as well. Uh, and it also gives you the all important achievements. You do need to have an associated Google uh, Play account, uh, a Google Games account, uh, to start earning the achievements. It doesn't seem to catch up. So, um, for example, um, I think there's one for completing the yeah completely easy word pack. Um, I did do that quite a while ago, but I wasn't signed in at the time. So I think I'll need to go back and complete that again. But it's not a major complaint, to be honest. It's just um, a, a bit annoying. Um, you can see here it gives you hint rewards. Um, one thing I, in fact, uh, I'll show you that because I never use hints myself. So I, I like to figure stuff out. A bit of a cipher fun. So we go back in there. So if I ask for a hint, which I have 13, and it's shown me R. R is a definite yes in there. And you notice it doesn't take up a move. So um, if you get stuck, if you're trying to make a par for your own personal satisfaction, hints are there. All right, so hopefully that's given you a quick and cheerful uh, overview of uh, Quictionary. It's not uh, the most spectacular game on earth, but you know what? It's good fun. It uh, stretches your mind a little bit, um, but it's not, uh, not too puzzling so that you know, you'll stress and strain over it. Uh, although, once you get down to the anagram stage, after you've tried three anagrams and you still not got it, you will start to curse at it. But, I'd say it's well worth a shot. It's free to play for the first four word packs, and if you decide to uh, crack on and uh, purchase other word packs, they're pretty fairly priced, I reckon, for what you're getting. Um, but, that's my, uh, my opinion uh, on the pricing. You may have your own. What I'll say is, give it a shot and um, see if it's for you. It's definitely, it's definitely entertained me in times that I've just had, you know, like five, ten minutes waiting in between appointments and things. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with it, and I hope you'll give it a shot. So this has been a fairly quick overview and review of Quictionary. I've been Chris Manson for the Gals Geeks, and I'll catch you all around. Cheers, everyone. GG